Let's get to the Philadelphia Eagles links. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter King says farewell to SI's Monday morning QB, Sports Illustrated thank you, Doug Peterson. By sharing so much interesting X and O stuff from the playoffs last year and doing it humbly, Peterson taught so many football nerds and casual football fans that, with hard work and imagination, all things are possible, even beating the great Belichick in the Super Bowl. Thank you to the loud guy at Eagles camp in 2008. After the Favre retirement, comeback, Packer divorce, jet comeback, I've been writing a lot about Favre for weeks, and some guy in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, yelled, Hey Peter! There's other guys than Favre in the league. Good to hear what fans think, and not just the good things. NFL GM candidate ranks Nick Foles over Dak Prescott and Eli Manning, BGNHOW Would you rank the NFC East quarterbacks? Mailbag, if you were to start a team today, who would be your top 10 quarterbacks? Philly Boys won Carson Wentz, MVP of the league in just his second year when he tore his ACL. He has everything you could ask for in a quarterback both physically and mentally. Brandon Graham is expected to report for Eagles OTA's PF in Philadelphia, where defensive end Brandon Graham has made it clear that he wants a new deal. Graham is expected to show up, according to Tim McManus of ESPN.com. However, as Graham recovers from a May 1st ankle procedure, he's not expected to participate in the practices. Why the NFL's helmet rule won't be game-altering is feared, ESPN NFL owners alarmed the football world in March when they slammed through a rule that promised 15-yard penalties and threatened ejections for something that is entwined with the game itself, using the helmet in contact. Coaches freaked over how to rewire ingrained techniques. Officials worried about distinguishing incidental contact from illegal hits. Players were skeptical that the rule could change anything except penalty and fine totals. In the ensuing months, however, league executives have worked to soothe those concerns and pull back on expectations for the rule's impact in 2018. Those who attended a May 1 meeting at NFL headquarters in New York were relieved to hear details that suggest the rule is intended to be applied only in obvious and or flagrant circumstances. Although some gray area remains, the NFL's helmet rule is best considered as the first step of a long-term strategy to, in now ubiquitous league jargon, take the head out of the game. Player Showdown, Jay Ajayi or Kenyon Drake, PFF Best Case for Ajayi, he sees a majority of the Eagles' rush attempts and ends the season with 250-plus carries and 1,000 yards. A high-scoring Eagles offense sets up dozens of goal-line carries for Ajayi and he totals double-digit touchdowns, ending up as a low-end RB1. Worst case for Ajayi, the Eagles add a veteran back before the season to spell Ajayi and he's back averaging 10 carries per game and falls well short of 1,000 yards. He continues to see only 1-2 to two targets per game and adds nothing in the passing game, making him a middling RB3. After news of his arrest, is Terrence Williams' job at risk with the Cowboys? Blogging the voice Williams signed a team-friendly deal last year, but part of what made that deal so agreeable was that the team guaranteed $9.5 million, which included his base salary in 2018. As you can see from the red circle, the Cowboys would endure a pricey dead money hit if they chose to release him compared to what it would cost to keep him on the roster, blue circle. Next season, however, the team can save $2.25 million in cap space by cutting him loose and absorbing a much smaller deal money hit green circle. This would seem like the most obvious path for the veteran receiver barring some great rebound season this year. The one position each NFL team should be worried about heading into the 2018 season, SB Nash and Philadelphia Eagles, defensive back. The Eagles are world champions, but they're also the team that gave up 505 passing yards in the Super Bowl.
Jalen Mills outperformed expectations last season, but Ronald Darby, 8 games last season and 2017 draftee Sidney Jones, 1 game, will both have to recover strongly from injury to bolster a relative weakness for a very good team. Fourth-round pick Avante Maddox will also work to instill a youth movement in the Philadelphia secondary. Social media information, BGN Facebook page, click here to like our page BGN Twitter, follow at Bleeding Green BGN Radio Twitter, follow at BGN underscore Radio BGN Radio Facebook, click here to like our page BGN Radio Patreon, support the show. BGN Manager, Brandon Lee Godin, follow at Brandon Godin.